the highest of praise Hallelujah. amidst the tormented past. A heart-rendering trial shakes our hopes and oppresses our heart. Years before hatred raged through cross burnings, St. Peter Claver Catholic School witnessed the flames of intolerance. Our colored school, open only eight days, was burned last night. The year 1894, the place Morgan Street in Tampa. Jesuits bought an old Methodist church to build a school for blacks, St. Peter Claver. There's no picture, only this map showing where the old Methodist church once stood. A few years later, the building on the map, gone. The old Methodist church set afire by our enemies was collapsing under the flames. Flames just days after black children started classes there. The sisters who ran St. Peter Claver kept notes on everything, and those who run the school now get choked up reading it, even today. It's heartbreaking, it really is. This is where the school used to be, right where Chalura Park is right now. A day after the fire, someone posted a note on one of the last things left standing, a big oak tree. That note making it clear that this was no accident. There were people who did not want blacks going to school in their neighborhood. People went that far that they burnt down the school. That was really surprising to me. I didn't, I thought that was like, wow. Now children play at a new St. Peter Claver. Yep, despite the threats to start another fire, Catholics rebuilt the school. But they did it in the black community, less than a mile away from where the old building once stood. The creator. And more than 125 years later, we've got the sun. Kids are still here learning. You have to get your education so when you're older, you know, you know, you know stuff. I sing praises to your name. That painful history oh, Lord, cloaked in forgiveness. To your name. Oh, Lord. You can't hate for people that were ignorant, and I think it's a lot of ignorance at that point. The school embraces its dark past. There are going to be obstacles that are thrown at you, but you have to learn to bounce back. St. Peter Claver leading generations of children to an educated future. In Tampa, I'm Dahlia Dangerfield, Spectrum Bay News 9.